Hi everyone, welcome to today's card tutorial where I'm bringing to you the new Catherine Pula collection. I'm going to be playing with the Boho Feathers. I absolutely love this. I don't have a good feather range in my collection so this was very welcomed in my stash. I'm also using the Cocktail Party Trio. I'm using the Fruit Tingle. This is from my own trio collection here that I've made and collaborated with Wow Embossing Powder. So these are the colours I have made with um, Wow and I'm really excited to showcase these um, in this tutorial. So I'm going to, I've got white cardstock here from Catherine Puller. It's smooth, really great to ink bled and heat emboss on. And so I've got my wow ink pad and I'm going to heat set for the flowers. I do end up only using three at the end for my card, just as you saw at the beginning. But um, I just didn't know where I was going. I also, in today's tutorial, I have got a pre-made panel from my gel press collection. So I'm gonna be using that as the backdrop. So here I am heat embossing my new trio. I'm gonna say it a couple of times in this video, maybe a half a dozen, maybe more, because I'm pretty excited about this release. Now you can get the um, products in the description below, or I will have a accompanying blog post as well so it will have affiliate links it's how you know you guys support and seeing this content on my youtube channel and i'm going to heat set this with my heat tool now i'm going to put heat setting two um, which is the higher heat speed and higher heat on here as well and i'm trying to capture it in good light you can see it go from basically a matte to a sheen shiny there we go got it transformation as it heat sets got it all right so this stamp set comes with coordinating dies i'm not going to fussy cut these i'm going to use the dies one today i'm feeling lazy and i've got the option to not fussy cut i do have moments and moods where i love fussy cutting today wasn't one of those mood moody days now here is that pre-made panel, my gel press panel. I'm actually gonna cut two bases out of this one. Um, and I was just trying to decide which one I wanna use. And really, I love, I love how that color, I played with a bit of fluoro paint in that. I'm gonna be using three feathers and I ended up using the one with the most pinks in the back, in the panel here. And then also, I'm trying to figure out which sentiment I want to play with. That's part of the same stamp set. I've got Thinking of You on a white strip of cardstock. And I'm going to stamp that with some Catherine Puller inks. I end up choosing Pixie Dust. I love how bright these colours are. These two colours are one of my favourite combos. And um, I didn't know which one to choose. I ended up choosing the pixie dust right at the last minute. Once I've stamped this, I'm going to then cut it into a thinner strip and give it a little bit of a fishtail ends on both ends here and then mount that with some foam squares. I thought I was only going to do one side and I'm like, no, it doesn't suit, wasn't sitting well with me. So I thought I'd just better do the other side too. So I do both ends with the fish tail ends and then um, mount that. And I could have, you know, added a little bit of bling, um, but I was happy with the overall card. It was fairly simple. I love the overall effect. I love that I'm using my panels, pre-made panels, and bringing them out of the hoard vault. Um, and I'm starting to do that with more cards, just really um, utilizing what I've got to make card making as simple as I can and fun too. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's card tutorial. All the links and product descriptions, uh, all the links are in my product description below. Got it. Happy paper crafting everyone. See you later.